So back in 2014, guys, I was a brand new agent in Laredo, Texas. Okay. And I had just moved there uh, from Fletzy, AKA uh, in Georgia. Okay. And here's an old picture of your boy. I'm going to share the screen right here with you guys. This photo was taken in September of 2014. This is me a long ass time ago. Okay. Um, and this is me on the, on the bridge uh, to United. Uh, basically I was technically in Mexico here. Don't tell the Mexican authorities, but, um, but this is me on the bridge here. Go and, the, and if you go all the way into that bridge, Mexican customs is right there. And uh, that was me back in the day. There I am with my little G shock and my dirty ass boat shoes. And you guys can't see, but I'm concealing a gun right here. Okay. And there's my little M frames. So, uh, and my fucked up teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and I had hair back then too. God damn it. Yes, your boy had hair back then. Down the monko. All right, so that was me back in the day. Um, and this picture, guys, actually was taken uh when I was doing um so when you become a new agent in Laredo, Texas, what they do is they 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 have you spend a week with Border Patrol, they have you spend a week with um ERO, aka the guys that actually remove aliens, and they have you spend a week with customs and border protection. And the reason why they have you do that is that you can kind of figure out um, how they operate, how they do things. So because we work with these agencies a lot, because um, when Border Patrol catches someone, guys, or Customs catches someone, they call us. So think of Border Patrol and U.S. Uh, Customs and Border Protection in general. Think of them as the as the police officers and HSI are the, the detectives. So anything that they catch, they call us and then we show up. OK, so you need to be able to you know understand how these agencies work so that you can properly respond and you know their limitations, you know their strengths, their, you know their weaknesses, et cetera, okay? Um, so yeah, this is your boy Myron back in the day. Anyway. Uh, Someone said you look like a true African. <laughs> I look like a true African, they said? Yeah, yeah fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, women really did. Yeah, I, I had less stress back then, man. I'll tell you all that. 